So Rainbow Six Siege is a diverse and character rich game, which has given a life, personality and backstory to every single operator they include. So I thought it'd be quite fun to not just focus on one operator, but actually take a look at every single operator in the game and share with you a fact from their lore for every single operator. If you'd like to learn more about the operators and R6 lore in general, then be sure to check out my lore playlist and subscribe to the channel. And this will be including every operator up to and including Solace. So without further ado, let's get into this. Ace attended the Norwegian University of Science and Technology, pursuing an education to become a paramedic. And after years of training and joining the Norwegian Home Guard, he actually saved Kali during a UN operation in Somalia, which he then promptly received an offer to join Nighthaven because of it. Alibi secretly infiltrated and dismantled the Vince Aguera crime family on behalf of the Italian Special Forces, which is how she got her invitation to join Team Rainbow, and this crime family's house is actually the map villa. The word Gara in Amara's gadget can be translated to Claw, meaning that her gadget's full name is the Claw Hook. Aruni has a lot of connotations to the light. Aifa, her real name, means light. Tawan Rung, her surname, means sunrise, her codename Aruni means dawn, and her gadget, known as the Surya Gate, means sun. One of Ash's old invitational charms, which has the name Ash's service, showed a photo of her and her grandmother. In this, she can be seen wearing the uniform of the Israeli Defense Force, showing us a younger version of Ash before she moved to the US and became part of the FBI. Azami's name can be translated to thistle, which is a sharp flower, with the connotations of her having a sharp knife. Similar to Alibi, Bandit also went undercover in a crime organization, the Hells Angels, and and their base of operations is actually the map clubhouse. Ever since he was young, Blackbeard always wanted to be a Navy SEAL, and his father, who was a professor at the University of Washington, helped him by signing him up for the Boy Scouts and the US Navy SEAL Cadet Corps at the age of 12. Plus, his name can be translated to Lightning, with the obvious connotations of his shield flashing people. Buck was born in Quebec, with Rainbow Six Siege actually being developed in Montreal, the biggest city in Quebec. When he was only 10 years old, Capital saw his older brother murdered by drug dealers, and from this day forward, he dedicated his life into protecting Brazil and joined the police when he was of age. Castle, whose real name is Miles Campbell, graduated from the California State University with a bachelor's degree in science and criminal justice. Caveira's name in Portuguese literally means skull, so you don't have to guess too hard as to why she wears skull face paint. According to Harry, Clash and Thatcher have a strained relationship due to having completely different political views. Despite having a strained relationship with Lion, Doc actually has a really good relationship with fellow GIGN operator Twitch. Though could be actually admitted to Harry that she is scared of Caveira and is extremely intimidated by her. The name of Echo's drone is Yokai, and in Japanese folklore, they are supernatural entities and spirits. Ella is said to carry a piece of her grandfather's uniform wherever she goes, as a way to remember him and the lessons he taught her. When she was just a child, Finca actually met Sam Fisher, who was working with her father. Flores is an avid cook, and this can actually be seen in his trailer for Operation Crimson Heist. Frost graduated as an officer cadet at the top of her class at the Royal Military College of Canada. Fuse was not actually born in Russia, rather Uzbekistan, and he actually speaks Uzbek, Russian, Ukrainian, and English. As his most famous catchphrase would suggest, Glass is actually a skilled artist. When Goya was only 11 years old, a bomb destroyed his home, killing his sister, father, and severely injuring his mother. Gridlock's track stairs are actually designed to stop vehicles, hence her name Gridlock, which is a form of traffic congestion. Joining after the Nighthaven and Team Rainbow Fallout, as it currently stands, Grim is the first and only operator to never have actually been part of Team Rainbow. Habana has said to have looked up to Thatcher as one of her mentor figures in Team Rainbow. Ayana's mother was the lead engineer on the Hagen spacecraft, which landed on Saturn's moon Titan in 2005. It is said that IQ and Operator Jackal both suffer from insomnia. In 1985, Jackal's brother was found murdered in an abandoned house with Jackal's beaten body left beside him. There was apparently no clear motive to this murder. Jaeger's bio states that he is not very good at reading social cues, which many believe is them hinting that Jaeger has autism. Cade translates to leader or commander, as Cade is actually leader of the training facility and in-game map fortress. Kali is actually the name of the Hindu god of time, doomsday, and death. Capcan is said to be one of the surviving police officers of the Beslan School Siege, which was a real incident in a school in Russia in 2004 and resulted in 333 deaths. The word lesion is actually a noun used to describe a region of organ or tissue which has suffered damage through injury or disease. Lion constantly refers to his gadget, the EE-1D, as Big Brother. Since this is a big drone that looks at everyone and tracks their movement, this is a clear reference to George Orwell's 1984. Whilst in an operation in Iraq, Maestro was hit by a roadside IED, resulting in him having a scar on his face. Maverick was an intelligence officer working for the US Army, serving in Kabul. Whilst investigating a missing reporter, the US Army actually lost contact with Maverick. After being missing for two years, he was actually discovered by Nook. After being injured whilst in the South African National Defence Force, Melissa resigned and dedicated her efforts into anti-poaching methods. Mira is Team Rainbow's Director of Research and Development, and despite Rainbow being split into separate squads, it still seems that she remains in that position. Montang, or Montagne, however you pronounce it, translates to 
mountain in English. Similar to this, his shield, Le Roch, actually translates to the rock, meaning that he is the mountain and his shield is the rock. Mozzie is Australian slang for mosquito, which links to his gadget, the pest, which has very insect-like movements. Mew actually seems to be quite good friends with Vigil, who often tells him that he is too quiet. Nook's real identity is said to pose threat to national security and current ongoing missions, meaning that all the information which Grimm knows is extremely valuable. Whilst on an expedition, Nomad got frostbite, resulting in her losing two fingers on her right hand. You can actually see this reflected in game. Oryx is currently the second in command to Cade at the fortress. Osa is currently the head of the research and development division at Nighthaven, as well as the quantum concepts and robotics. Pulse joined the FBI in 2007 as an intern, focusing on forensic science and biochemistry. Sense was recruited to Wolfguard by two GIGN operators, Montang and Twitch. Whilst in an operation with Twitch in 2020, Rook was actually shot in the head by an armed robber, but was luckily survived by his highly reinforced helmet. Sledge actually holds multiple records in the SAS when it comes to speed and strength. On Legion's first ever operation, he was actually tasked with working with Thatcher and Smoke. In celebration of a successful first mission, Smoke and Thatcher helped Legion celebrate by taking an extra day in Macau, filing the day off as an off-duty bonus. Solus's helmet was actually going to be used as an upgrade for IQ, however, since IQ left to join Nighthaven, Mira had no reason to continue developing this. She sent over the prototype which she made to Solus and Flores, and with this, they developed her new augmented reality headset. Tachanka is known to get quite drunk and flirt with Finca. I wonder how he's taken it that she's left Team Rainbow. Thatcher partook in the Iranian embassy siege. Thatcher's name most likely comes from the Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher, who was in office during Operation Nimrod, which was the first time the SAS was shown to the world. Thermite's exothermic charges burn at 2000 degrees Celsius or 3632 degrees Fahrenheit. Thorne's younger brother fell into crime with one night, him and a bunch of criminals snuck onto a farm and burned down a stable, killing a champion racing horse inside. After this day, Thorne never seen her brother again. In 2015, Years before either of them joined Team Rainbow, Thunderbird rescued Nomad in the Canadian wilderness. It is said in 2016 that Twitch met Kavira for the first time and had some form of relationship, but to what extent, we do not know. Valkyrie was actually seen to have Olympic potential in the 200 meter breaststroke, but these dreams fell short when she broke her arm in a car accident at the age of 16. Vigil is said to have a strong disliking towards Mozzie, and for what reason, we don't know. Umai is very specialised when it comes to diving and underwater operations, and the promise of more time in the water is what led him to join Nighthaven and leave the Kenyan Navy. After saving the US president's life when US diplomats were attacked, Warden was assigned to the Presidential Protective Division by the president himself. Ying translates to Firefly in English, which is a reference to her many candelas lighting up the room like fireflies. Zero is technically not an operator in Team Rainbow, rather a member of the operational staff. He just isn't a stranger to getting his hands dirty. And finally, when growing up, Zofia was favourited by her father, causing a strain in the relationship between her and Ella. And that, guys, is one fact for everyone every single operator in Rainbow Six Siege as of Operation Solar Raid. If you guys did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing and dropping a like on this video. This video took hours to research and make, but I had so much fun doing it and I learned so many new things. So if you guys would like to see more videos like this, be sure to check out my channel and check out my lore playlist. Drop a comment, let me know what you want to see next. And guys, have an incredible rest of your day. I love you all. Stay safe. Peace.